Good morning. This is Pastor Zach with the Goodland United Methodist Church with your morning devotion for Thursday, August 24th. Today we'll be reading the Gospel of Luke in the 13th chapter, verses 10 through 17. Now he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath, and just then there appeared a woman with a spirit that had crippled her for eighteen years. She was bent over and was quite unable to stand up straight. When Jesus saw her, he called her over and said, Woman, you are set free from your ailment. When he laid his hands on her, immediately she stood up straight and began praising God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant because Jesus had cured on the Sabbath, kept saying to the crowd, There are six days on which work ought to be done. Come on those days and be cured, not on the Sabbath day. But the Lord answered him and said, You hypocrites, do not, does not each of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his donkey from the manger and lead it away to give it water? And ought not this woman, a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan bound for eighteen long years, be set free from this bondage on the Sabbath day? When he said this, all his opponents were put to shame, and the entire crowd was rejoicing at all the wonderful things that he was doing. I'm going to read from a devotional that I got years back about this passage, and then I'll talk a little more about it. The woman came into the synagogue late, after Jesus had started teaching, hoping to slip into the crowd unnoticed. Maybe she feared the criticism of the crowd or the unforgiving eyes of the synagogue leaders. Being bent over for 18 years, she was the target of people's judgment. They believed she was possessed by a spirit that crippled her. Certainly her physical deformity was a consequence of her unforgivable sin, they thought. Unable to see straightforward, she probably made her way into the area reserved for women, slaves, and children in the back of the synagogue, trying not to bump into anyone. But Jesus spotted her. In fact, he did more than notice her. He interrupted his teaching and called her to come forward. According to rabbinical law, it was disreputable for a man to speak to a pub- in public to any woman, let alone a woman who with a disability. Jesus not only called her, but he invited her to come forward to the place reserved for men. Imagine the shock in the crowd, in the woman herself, and in the synagogue leaders. The woman walked slowly forward. People moved aside, not in avoidance, but in amazement. Jesus spoke to her convincingly, Woman, you are set free from your ailment. Then he laid hands on her and she stood up straight. For the first time in 18 years, someone recognized her as a valuable human being who deserved attention and dignity. Like the woman, we have value in God's eyes. God wants to heal us from any restrictions that have caused us to be bent over. Give your ailment to God, receive healing today, and begin praising God with your life. This devotion makes me think about the ways we get too attached to rules and procedure and sometimes forget what is right in front of us. On the Sabbath, you weren't to work, weren't to heal, weren't to cure the people who needed it. But this woman came looking for some relief, looking for a place to be. And Jesus welcomed her, brought her forward to the front to see what was going on so that she could have dignity. And he healed and cured her, gave her a new life because He recognized who she was, a child of God. May we go about our days realizing that everyone we come in contact with is a child of God and that just needs someone to maybe lay hands and say a prayer for them. Have a blessed day.